What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. It is I, Bitcoin J, back with you guys yet again with another video for you guys today. So let's jump right into it, man. Dollar cost averaging is what we're going to be speaking about today. Um, we're going to show you how um, you can use this strategy to have the best entry. A lot of people are always asking, you know, what's the best price to enter, uh, where, to get, where to get in. Um, and a lot of people are always trying to either find the bottom or, you know, knife, n trying to knife catch at the bottom. Um, but it's almost impossible to, to ever time the market in that way. So sometimes uh, time in the market is more important than timing the market, if you get what I mean. Um, so right before we jump in, don't forget, guys, we're doing a giveaway. Um, so uh, all you got to do is watch this video. We're going to have a question of the day in it. Once you get the get to the question of the day, just leave your answer in the comments below and then we will pick a winner. The winner gets a $70 value of, uh, you know, one month membership in our trade room, $70 value. It's amazing. You guys could get trades for free and you can make money off the trade. So, I mean, it's a win win. Um, very easy to do. Um, make sure to subscribe, guys, like this video and comment. All right, let's get right into it. So uh, what is dollar cost averaging, uh, also known as DCA? Dollar cost averaging is an investment strategy in which an investor divides up the total amount to be invested across periodic purchases of a target asset in an effort to reduce the impact of volatility on the overall purchase. The, purchase occur, the purchases occur regardless of the asset's price and at regular intervals. In effect, this strategy removes much of the detailed work of attempting to time the market in order to make purchases of equities at the best prices. Dollar cost averaging is also known as constant dollar plan. All right, guys. So the basic idea is here to just consistently uh, make deposits or, or purchases into whatever it is you're looking to invest into. So, for example, um, a lot of the biggest question we get all the time is, is you know, uh, for Bitcoin, where can they enter? And my answer is always you have to just end the best time to enter was when it first started in 2009. The next best time to enter is right now. Um, you just have to get in. Um, and then I also always recommend that you dollar cost average. You don't just, you know, put one lump sum in. All right. Um, because that's in the end, it's going to give you the best price possible. All right, understanding dollar cost averaging, guys. Dollar cost averaging is a tool an investor can use to build savings and wealth over a long period. It's also a way for an investor to neutralize short term volatility, which is very, very, very big in the cryptocurrency scene. A perfect example of dollar cost averaging is its use in the 401k plan, not 491k, sorry about that, 401k plans in which regular purchases are made regardless of the price of any given equity within the account. Um, in a 401k plan, an employee can select a predetermined amount of their salary that they wish to invest in, a menu of mutual or index funds. When an employee receives their pay, the amount the employee has chosen to contribute to the 401k is invested in their investment choices. So um, if anyone, any, any of you guys have a job, I know most jobs offer this, the 401k plans, uh, which you basically just invest in and it's, it's just happening over a long period of time. You just continually, continuously continue to invest. Um, dollar cost averaging can be also be used outside of the 401k plans, such as Bitcoin or index funds, uh, fund accounts. Although it's one of the more basic techniques, dollar cost averaging is still one of the best strategies for beginning investors looking to trade. So like we said, man, um, in, in cryptocurrency is a lot of new traders, a lot of new investors. So this is why we always recommend dollar cost averaging. Um, I also recommend it with uh, people trying to build up stock portfolios. Um, dollar cost averaging is definitely the way to go when you're first starting out until you, you, you get into you know more understanding of how it works and um, and then you can start making other moves. But the way to build up your portfolio is always to dollar cost averaging. That, that'll keep you from making really bad errors. So here's an example of dollar cost averaging. 
Uh, Joel works at an ABC Corp and has a 401k plan. He receives a paycheck of $1,000 every two weeks. Joel decides to allocate 10% or $100 of his pay to his employer's plan. He chooses to contribute 50% of his allocation to large cap mutual funds and 50% to the S&P 500 index fund. Every two weeks, 10% or $100 of Joel pre-tax pay will buy $50 worth of each of these two fans regardless funds regardless of the funds price the table on the next slide is going to show you um the hundred dollars contribution to the s p 500 fund over 10 pay periods throughout 10 paychecks joe invested a total of 500 dollars or 50 dollars per week however because the price of the fund increased and decreased over the several weeks joe's average price came to ten dollars and 48 cents the average was higher than his initial purchase, but it was lower than the fund's highest prices. This allowed Joe to take advantage of the fluctuations of the market as the index fund increased and decreased in value. All right, so here is the chart so that you guys can get, you know, for all you visual learners like me, I hate reading. I always hate reading. So I, I was always very, very visual when it came to learning. Um, here we go, the, the S&P 500 index, the contribution, shares bought, shares owned, and a total total value, all right? So the first pay period, the S&P was at $10 per share. So $50 contribution bought him five shares. You know, $50 value, very straightforward. Pay two, um, second pay period, the S&P was up at $10.50 per share with the 50, you know, contribution, 4.76 shares bought. So now he has 9.76 shares owned. The total value is 102. So you see that um, the value went up. Then his third pay period, 10.75 per share. He was able to buy a little bit less. Shares owned now 14.41, total value 154. And as you can see, he continued doing this, whether it was up or down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And at the end of it all, he owned 47.71 shares worth $536.79. So his profit was $36.79. His investment was $500. All right. So that's a very simple way to look at it. And oh, and his dollar cost average was 1048 because of the up and downs of fluctuations of the market. So um, it's important to note that this example of the dollar cost averaging strategy works out favorably because the hypothetical results of the S&P 500 index ultimately rose over the period of time in question. Dollar cost averages does improve the performance of an investment over time, but only if the investment increases in price. The strategy cannot protect investors against the risk of declining market prices. The general idea of the strategy assumes that prices will eventually always rise. Using the strategy on an individual stock without knowing about the company's detail could prove dangerous because this strategy may encourage an investor to continue buying more stock at a time when they should simply exit the position. For less informed investors, the strategy is far less risky on index funds than on individual stocks. Investors who use a dollar cost averaging strategy will generally lower their cost basis in an investment over time. The lower cost basis will lead to a less of a loss on the investment that decline in price and generate greater gain on investments which increase in price. All right. Um, so the, the way you can look at the S&P 500 index fund is similar to the way you'll look at Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is basically... Um, you know the biggest of them all in the crypto space um, and it's what everything follows the S&P 500 is basically the same thing the S&P 500 is made up of the of the top 500 companies um, and you know the market basically follows the S&P 500 because it's the top 500 companies so however the S&P 500 does is how the rest of the market does as well on most case scenarios um, so let's talk about dollar cost averaging Bitcoin. Let's go over some examples on that. So what is dollar cost averaging Bitcoin? Bitcoin dollar cost averaging consists of investing a fixed amount of USD into BTC on a regular time intervals. You'll often see it referenced, it referenced by its abbreviation of DCA. 
Um, purchasing $10 every week, for example, would be dollar cost averaging. This strategy is mostly used by investors that are looking to purchase Bitcoin for the long term, since it protects them from potet potentially allocating all their capital at a price peak. Um, investing in Bitcoin with no DCA example. So uh, in January 1st, 2018, John decides to purchase $5,000 worth of Bitcoin. The Bitcoin price at the time was $13,800 per coin, which means that John now owns 0 0.362 BTC. Now let's look at investing in Bitcoin using the dollar cost, uh, dollar cost averaging uh, strategy. Uh, January 1st, 2018, Alice decides she wants to purchase the same amount, $5,000 worth of Bitcoin. However, instead of investing the entire amount today, she decides to purchase $500 every month for 10 months. 10 months later, she owns 0 0.61 BTC. That's almost twice as much as John, even though they both invested the same exact amount of money. Now you see why uh, dollar cost averaging can be very, very good to, to average out your entry level. Um, advanced Bitcoin DCA strategy. If you have some experience trading, you'll quickly realize that you can improve the performance of your dollar cost averaging strategy by making use of some simple tools. When going this route, you would purchase Bitcoin whenever a set of simple technical analysis tools gives you a signal instead of a, six of a fixed time interval. Some examples of signals that traders can use for better timing entries include buying Bitcoin, buying when Bitcoin approaches a high time frame moving average like the 200 DMA, looking for unusually oversold conditions using which using the RSI or MACD or using a valuation tool like the stock to flow model. Um, let's go over some some um, pros and cons of dollar cost averaging Bitcoin. So dollar cost averaging is a powerful strategy for investors looking for long term exposure to Bitcoin. However, just like any strategy, it has its pros and its cons. This guide, this guide outlines the pros and cons of dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin to give a balanced overview. So again, guys, there's no magic pill. There's no blanket strategy. There's no one way to invest. There's no one way to always win and make money. Um, you're still, it's still an investment. You're still risking money. It could still go in both directions. Um, so you have to be in it for the long term for, for to, in order to use the strategy. And it has to always be money that you're willing to lose. So if you're risking that money, you have to be willing to lose that money. Pros of dollar cost averaging Bitcoin. It reduces the risk of buying tops. Dollar cost averaging is based on the concept of splitting the desired investment amount into several smaller purchases made on a regular basis. Okay, so so obviously, you know, you're buying different amounts at different uh, times. So if the price goes down when you're buying it's okay because you could keep dollar cost averaging your, your price down and when it bounces back up over the long term you're gonna you're gonna have a better entry than if uh you just bought for example at fifteen thousand dollars and then you're, you've just been waiting for the market to go back to fifteen thousand instead you should have been buying you know as it went down um so uh it doesn't require big upfront investment since DCA strategies are constructed around making small yet regular purchases. You won't have to commit a massive amount of capital from day one. This is especially important benefit if you don't feel comfortable investing your savings into Bitcoin. Instead, take a small chunk from your paycheck every month. I do this all the time, guys, not only with Bitcoin, but with the stock market in general. I have it automatically set to um, make deposits every single week. So every Monday, my account is i make a deposit automatically i don't it's not i don't have to think about it i don't forget sometimes you know it's automatic i have it set to make a a uh deposit into bitcoin and into the stock market now the amount it all varies depending on your financial situation could be anywhere from ten dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars a thousand dollars um that all depends on you pick something comfortable i usually recommend around ten percent to 20% of what you're uh, making on a monthly basis if you can't afford it um, and invest 10 to 20% all together into your investment portfolio. So you always want to try to try to be investing 10 to 20% overall uh, monthly. 
Um, number three gives you time to understand Bitcoin. Uh, everyone that held Bitcoin for more than three years is in profit on their initial purchase. However, many people kept capitulate just sh shortly after making their purchase. These investors often do so because they did not take the time to properly understand Bitcoin and react emotionally after a sharp BTC price decline. In order to avoid making the same mistake, it's crucial that you understand the value proposition of Bitcoin and that it should not be seen as a get rich quick scheme. I know most people are in this to get rich quick. This is not a get rich quick scene, uh, scheme. So those that are in it for that get shaken out very, very quickly and they usually have a bad time. A Bitcoin DCA strategy helps with this by giving you some time to properly research BTC before your entire investment is all allocated. Uh, the result of this is that while you still know little about Bitcoin, your allocated investment will also still be small. Yet, as you continue to learn more about Bitcoin, your, your periodic purchases also kick in. Hence, your investment amount in Bitcoin grows together with your knowledge about the currency. That's so important, guys. The, the more time and you spend learning about it, the more you, uh, you get comfortable with it and you know the better that investment you're making is going to be long term um for the opportunity to buy bitcoin at a steep discount the benefit is someone is somewhat related to the first point we outlined by not allocating all your capital at once you will have some cash left to step in if bitcoin were to suddenly crash allowing you to scoop up some very cheap coins. A great example is the November 2000, 2018 Bitcoin price crash. Bitcoin was trading for months in the in the 6,000 6k per coin range until it suddenly collapsed to 3.5. Buyers that had dry power powder left could use that as an opportunity to dollar cost average. Needless to say, shortly after the crash, Bitcoin started a parabolic rally that would bring it to 14K per coin in just three months. Just think about that, guys. Um, another thing, number five, reduces emotional stress. This is for those that get very emotional about this. A highly underrated point in every, every investment strategy is the toll that it takes on your mental health. This is especially true in the wild Bitcoin markets where price swings that would be considered apocalyptic in the stock market are part of the norm. By dollar cost averaging, you won't have the stock, the shock of investing a large sum of money and having to constantly worry about price swings. Instead, your investment amount will slowly increase as you get more comfortable with Bitcoin's inherent volatility. Guys, if you're in Bitcoin, if you're in cryptocurrency period, you have to accept the volatility. You have to be OK with it because it is a very, very volatile currency and um, and you just it's something you have to embrace and deal with so uh, no no reason in being upset about it or afraid uh, just embrace it and learn how to make money in its volatility use use its volatility you know in at your advantage use it as your edge um, cons of dollar cost averaging Bitcoin now of course anywhere where there's pros there's gonna be cons there's nothing that's just pros you know so cons it eliminates the possibility of buying exact bottoms while dollar cost averaging prevents you from allocating all your capital at the exact top, unfortunately, it does the same for the bottom. If you follow a dollar cost averaging strategy, it's impossible to all allocate all your funds at the exact bottom in Bitcoin. Some purchases will always be made at a higher price if the strategy was executed properly. So this is this is what I tell people that are always trying to find the bottom of Bitcoin or any other currency or investment. You will never be able to time it if you do time it you, it's all luck you got lucky you're not you know an oracle you can't tell the future you're not a wizard it's all luck so um instead of depending on luck to try to time the market it's better to get in in the middle like so let's say over here let me see over here is a bottom over here is a top right there's still all this space in between that you can use to make money. You don't have to catch either side. You just have to catch what's in between. So by getting in the middle and getting out in the middle, you, you can still make your money. And it's a lot more of a high probability to do so. Um, number two, it takes time to get desired exposure. 
the very core of a DCA strategy, regular small purchases mean that it will take some time to get your, desi your desired exposure. Depending on how you uh, structure your dollar cost averaging, this usually means anywhere between 3 and 12 months. All right, so obviously it takes time to build it your position. Um, and then the last one, potentially lower performance and strong bull markets. If Bitcoin is in a strong bull market, certainly the best move would be to make the entire purchase at once since the next time you would dollar cost average, price is likely higher. This is a major downside of the DCA approach. However, on the other hand, how do you know for sure if Bitcoin is in a bull cycle? What if a price just showed some strength and retraces the entire rally by the end of the month, which happens very frequently in Bitcoin? All right, guys, let's let's jump into um, into some examples here. So so this is a site DCABTC.com. You guys can check out as well uh, and test this your, test this out yourself. And mess around with the prices to see uh, what number might work for you guys. Um, so here's a, 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 a an example I use: a purchase amount of $100 a week for accumulating over the the period of three years, starting three years ago. So if we started three years ago buying $100 a week, we would have invested total investment $15,700. But the, t the current value would be $27,557. So we would be up 75.52% on our on our position. Um, and this is basically if you would have bought, if you would have started buying when Bitcoin, uh, right after the Bitcoin hype, right? Um, you see how this would have gone. You would have gone up to $20,000 in value at one point that would have dropped all the way to eleven thousand dollars in value at one point a few months later what is this uh this so so let's let's look at the height right here 628 2019 all right so imagine in june your account would have been worth twenty thousand dollars right by this year march so what six nine months later your account would have been worth eleven thousand five hundred twenty one dollars so it basically your account would have been cut in half, right? But right now, today, your account will be worth $27,557.14. So you would have got made that right back and you would, have, you would have been up and above and that's how the dollar cost strategy works. Now, once you get better at it, then you're able to, for example, here, at 20,000 once you see it starts dropping you could cut that so if, for example this drop right here you could have you know sold sat sat out maybe bought again here and then once it started dropping sold again then bought again down here and then at this point you you know you would have probably you could have had probably close to six figures at that point um and that's that's a day trading strategy, not dollar cost averaging. So but that's way more advanced because, yeah, even though your reward is higher, so is your risk. So you can you can easily lose all your money if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but, yeah, you can you can use play with these numbers, guys. You can change them, do whatever you want. You know, ten dollars uh, a week, a thousand dollars a week. You know, you would have invested a thousand dollars a week for three years, one fifty seven thousand total invested to it, it would be worth two hundred and seventy five thousand right now. So and and if you would have done a hundred dollars a week for, let's say, five years, starting five years ago. Look at that. Look at the difference, guys. So if you would have invested twenty six thousand a hundred dollars, which is a hundred dollars a week for five years, starting five years ago. You would have twenty-six thousand invested, but your profit would be two hundred and forty-four thousand, guys. That's a eight hundred and thirty-five percent, point seventy-five percent change. Guys, the strategy works. You just have to be patient. You just have to be consistent, and that's 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 about it, guys. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, actually, let's jump into the the question of the day. I'm gonna just do it right here. So, question of the day. If you guys aren't familiar with it. This is how it works. Every video, we will have a random question about something in the video. The question will always be in a random area of the video. Find the question, then find the answer in the video. 
Post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month of membership to our trading room. Winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 10 likes. You know what? Today, for this video, because we crushed this goal. You know what? I don't like 20. I like 25. I like 25 better. So we're going to go with 25 likes for this video. Number will change as we grow. We're growing, guys. So 25 likes. I know we could do it. Uh, good luck. So here we go. You guys ready? Question of the day. If I invested a hundred dollars per day for three years starting three years ago how much would my total value be today we spoke about this guys so remember just get the answer i need the exact answer the exact value drop it down in the comments below like the video subscribe to the channel and share it if you want with your friends and you have a chance to win, um, you know, a free month in our trade group. Appreciate you guys spending the time with me. I appreciate all the followers. I appreciate everyone who's been subscribing and following and commenting and interacting with us. Uh, thank you guys for everything, man. Um, till the next one. Peace.